My next guest picked up his first pair of ice skates at only seven years old, going on to win medals in some of the biggest international figure skating competitions in the world. But after two unsuccessful attempts to make his Olympic dreams come true, he decided to put his pro career on ice in 2018. Now retired at the young age of 30, he's found both a whole new way to share his talent and reach out to an even larger audience. His videos gliding across frozen lakes in fantastic locations around the world, along with his hip hop dance moves, have become some of the coolest content on Instagram and TikTok. Um, in fact, some of the videos rake in more than 17 million views. Elage Balde joins us now from Toronto, Canada. I mean, listen, I know you had other dreams planned on your vision board, but then life put you in this great position how does it feel to share your talent in this way that you didn't expect? Um, it's absolutely incredible. And it's actually a, a real gift to be able to share uh, my gift and, and the things that I love to do, my passion for, for performing and my passion as an artist um, to a larger audience, uh, to be able to reach, uh, you know, pop culture and have millions of people watch what I do. Um, it's telling me that I'm able to modernize the sport in a way that I've always wanted to, um, that I wasn't able to do before when I was competing. We have this video of you with the backflip, 17 and a half million views, nearly 4 million likes. What is it about that video that, well, I can see what it is about that video. Look at you. I mean, um, but that's, those are crazy numbers. Yeah, the numbers are really, they were really surprising to me, but I, I think it's more than the backflip. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's also seeing someone um, enjoy what they do during this time of COVID, where I think there is a lot of, um, you know, a, a lot of difficult situation and difficult experiences. So seeing someone enjoying what they're doing and really being in a space of joy, I think is an element, but also seeing someone that looks like me, um, who doesn't look like a typical figure skater, throw backflips and dance on the ice and, and, and be, you know, skating in a way that uh, you don't necessarily see, um, you know, by look people from that. the BIPOC community do. It's stunning. You know what? It's also because when my team told me you were coming on, I said, well, that's not a hidden talent because he's like a star. I mean, you're Olympic. But what you did was take this obviously beautiful athleticism and modernize it. And I think that's the hidden part of this. I mean, because a lot of people see ice skating as this traditional way of doing it. And you've modernized it, much like those gymnasts who've gone viral with their floor routine. Absolutely. I, I, I think that, you know, skating is it's skating is a box and a mold that you have to fit in mm. and it's stuck in decades in the past. And, and unfortunately, the sport is going in the direction where people are not really interested in the sport. And then also it's not extremely um, it's not really welcoming for, yeah. uh, you know, for, for black people. And so for, you know, for me to be in that sport for many years and not be able to uh, you know, to, to, to be authentic and skate to what I want to skate to and skate in the ways that I want to yeah. skate it, uh, that I wanted it's to beautiful. skate. Um, r really, it w was, was something that was, was that was difficult to deal with. And, and now with, with social media and the freedom of, yeah, of doing what I want to do. Yeah, you have the freedom to make your own lane. You've made your own lane with it. it and it's, it's gorgeous video. Elash, congratulations. And thank you for sharing your talent you. with young people who will see and follow in your ice skates.